trying to get a video approved, it's gonna be my best video that ever hits my channel. Mark my word. Ever since I started doing freelance video work, the goal was to just make a living and, and start to make money doing this thing. And as I started to do that, I consistently, every few months would burn out. Now I've talked about that before. I talked about it way back when, there's probably a lot of new people here, but I would consistently burn out. And every time anybody would ever ask me, well, why are you burning out? And what do you think you could do to combat that? The answer would always be, well, I just wanna make YouTube videos. I just wanna be a YouTuber so I can make whatever I want. And so I can just make videos and I wanna make videos about whatever I want to make videos about. That was three plus years ago, maybe four years ago. And now we're sitting here today, 200 plus videos deep. And I have went through a few different evolutions of the videos that I put out on this exact channel. This channel that just last week monetized and I made my first penny. It's been a goal of mine for the past few years to just make one penny from YouTube because I make all these videos, I put so much time into these videos, not making a cent, so the entire weight of it is being carried by my freelance career, which is also the engine that gives me things to make videos about, but at the same time, it's been hard and my goal has just been to make any kind of money from this channel. And so I made my first dollar, which is really a cool feeling. And I wanted to go through and just show the evolution of my videos and talk you through where I was at and how I look at these videos now, the ups, the downs, how they evolve to where I am at this point right now. Only with 2,300 subscribers, which isn't anything crazy, but a monetized channel, a legit YouTube channel that's heading in that direction with somebody who's getting a lot more confident talking down the barrel of a lens. Let's just pull up my channel and scroll back all the way to the very beginning. So right now we are going to go to the oldest part of my channel. There are some videos here that were from before I even was putting out YouTube videos and then Right here, this episode one, Work For Yourself, Real Talk, is the first video I made when I was dead set on making YouTube videos and consistently working at this goal of mine. The first video on this channel is a documentary that I made my first year of film school whenever I met a few friends that were into film and we had to make a school project. Myself, my buddy Brenton, and my buddy Pat went to the sandwich shop that was right off of DePaul, which is where I went to school's campus, and made a little documentary, or so-called documentary, we called it, about the lady that opened the sandwich shop. There are obviously technical things that weren't that great, but if you click on it and you listen to it, like it's kind of a vibe right away. That intro shot, kind of cool. The, the idea is there. The footage looks good, but then you hear the audio. I mean, like, the idea of it was cool, and it was a cool video. That's the first video on here. And just, like, that video shows potential. It shows that I could actually do something. But whenever I really started to make a YouTube channel, you see a few videos. You see the Hawaii vlog. That's before still. You see the Hawaii breakdown video. The next one, those were videos whenever I was mentioning exactly what I said earlier about how I would get burnt out and I would want to do something else. And I would say, I wanna make a YouTube channel and I would put out one video and then I would get discouraged listening to my own voice and that the video didn't get any views. And then I stopped and that happened a few times consistently up until this first video. This first video What's up guys and welcome is literally to the first episode just me talking down the barrel of a lens. There are some cuts just for whenever I was saying um or cutting something out that was irrelevant. 
But this is what I needed to just start putting something out. At this time, I didn't have a video light. I was making a career in photo and video, but I didn't have a light. I was sitting there in the winter, annoyed with my freelance work, frustrated. And this is from November 8th, 2021. This one has 29 views, but there are some of these real talk episodes. Like you go here, six views, six, three views. I was just looking at this the other day whenever I monetized my channel. Three views is the lowest you're gonna find. But these videos were me getting comfortable talking down the barrel of the lens. Me proving to myself that I can actually put out videos when I wanna put them out. By no means using all of the skills that I had and that I was using for this full-time freelance thing, but it was me putting out videos to start to build my personal brand and start to work in the direction that I wanted to go, eventually getting it closer to where it is today. At this time, I was doing a lot of freelance work. I was doing work for Nike, which was really cool. I was doing work for my buddy, John, who I'm still working with a lot to this day. He's the guy that kind of helped me get off my feet. I have an interview with him on this channel. So he was giving me work with the companies like Chomps, the beef jerky company, a bunch of different construction clients. And then I was doing real estate video as well. That was pretty much all I had at that point. And I didn't feel a whole lot of purpose through the stuff that I was making. And so this was like the first step in believing in myself and doing something that I actually wanted to do. It didn't have any financial incentives attached to it. And I started to do it and I got a little bit annoyed because I would put off the edits and I wouldn't put videos out because I didn't want to edit them. So I actually, funny enough, ended up paying my buddy Pat like 50 bucks a video, which was totally just like a bro move on his end. He's a great freelancer. He's building his own agency right now. But like 50 bucks is nothing. And for what he was doing, it should have cost a lot more than that, but he was just being a homie doing it and helping me out. And I couldn't afford really anything else more than that. And it was just like a cool thing to look back on because that's what a good friend is right there. Somebody who's going to do these things for you that don't make sense and do you favors and you don't want to ask for those favors too much, but he would help me edit these. And I, I want to say he edited like the first 25 or so episodes of this Real Talk series. It was just me, pretty much this, talking straight down the barrel of a lens, but I was not nearly as good at talking to the camera at this time than I am now. They were boring, they were me saying um all the time, mumbling, but the, the idea was there. I was starting to move in the right direction. And then I took a shift. The first video that ever did anything was this video. It was just a real talk episode of me talking down the barrel of lens, but it was talking about my Canon RF 24 to 70 lens. That's a 2000 views now. And that was like my first dopamine hit of like, ooh, I got a couple of views. And I started going down the tutorial route. And I made these tutorial type of videos for a while moving forward then. You keep seeing a little bit of real talk, a little bit of tutorial starting to fade in that direction until I started interviewing people, trying more things and trying more things and making some travel videos, gear reviews. And then I started going down this path of making videos that were about my freelance experiences. That's the direction that I like these videos going. And one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube is a guy named Eric Floberg. He is based in Chicago, which is where I'm based out of currently. And he recently made a video about the current state of filmmaking YouTube. We all have been at a point where we watched the videos where all filmmaking YouTube was was taking your camera on the streets, shooting 120 frames per second B-roll of your friends, going on a rooftop and just making a sick video with your DSLR. That's not what it is anymore. Now it is me and a lot of other people who are doing an even better job than I am taking you on the journey with them and how the heck you can make a career with this camera. And 
people's actual experiences of how they're making a career using their camera. One of the videos that really stood out to me and like gave me this vision of where I wanna go and what I wanna do with this YouTube channel is whenever I started shooting for the NFL. These ones right here of me breaking down my NFL photos. Very simple, me running through what I was doing, why I was doing it, but it was giving insight to the younger me, the person who wanted to shoot for the NFL, the person who loves sports, loves creativity, wants to blend the two, showing that it's possible for anybody to actually do. And whenever it comes to like possibilities, I always knew it was possible for me to monetize my YouTube channel, but it was really, really hard to do it. Two and a half years of putting out videos almost every single week. I think I missed two weeks the entire course of my channel. And even during those two weeks that I missed, I was still putting out shorts. It was just hard, man, um, to put out the videos while I was still making money for my freelance jobs that I was very busy with and had ups and downs in those chapters. And, you know, you'd see more videos in January because January's the dead season for myself as a freelancer. And then it would slow down come summer because summertime it gets a little bit busier and that's when I'm actually making my money. I don't know why exactly I felt inclined to make this video, but it's just to show that if you're here right now, I appreciate you more than anything. And the fact that I can open up my YouTube analytics, I'll, I'll open up my YouTube analytics right now for you to see. Whenever I open it up and I see this estimated revenue of $3.36, that is super, super cool for me to just be putting these videos out onto the internet for people to stumble across them, find them, and just watch them because it's me talking to a camera trying to teach you how the heck you can do this thing that I have worked hard to do. It's a cool feeling to have proved myself that I could build this YouTube channel and I'm going to continue to build this and I can make money just making these videos that I want to make. It's a hard thing to explain to people whenever you want to do. Even the first time you go to your parents or your grandparents and tell them you want to make a career with a camera, it'll probably be a hard conversation because everybody knows it as like a starving artist, but it is possible. And you should know if you're trying to make this thing work, it's very possible. A lot of people are doing it. And whatever you want to do, you can go do it. I don't mean to sound like a motivational speaker right here, but it's a very cool feeling to work so hard at something that seems almost delusional and now get to a point where I'm getting real money for making these videos that nobody is really asking for. Where is this channel headed? We'll see. I wanna start maybe making some spec type of things. Start whatever money I'm gonna make from this, which will probably be nothing for now, pay for rentals to make a YouTube video out of pay for somebody to help me on a shoot for a spec ad, pay for anything that's gonna just keep feeding this beast because if there's anything I'm still very, very, very motivated to grow, it's this right here, it's the community and I can guarantee you that I am going to continue to put out videos that feel authentic and that will stay very consistent throughout the course of time. I'm not gonna take anything just for the money because this is this means a lot more and having this relationship with the viewer means a lot more than just trying to make a couple of dollars. I'm, I'm gonna continue to be authentic and I'm gonna put my foot down whenever somebody tells me to change a video and I don't think that that's what's best for this community. I'll finish with this. On Friday morning whenever I woke up, I monetized my YouTube channel. I sent a screenshot of it to a few of my friends that I knew it would mean a lot to and the, the friends that have seen me go through the course of all these different events. One of the ones that stood out was a text that I sent to my buddy John, who is a mentor of mine. He's helped me throughout my whole freelance career and definitely somebody that has helped me move in the correct direction with this YouTube channel and always pushing me, hired me for that Marquette video I put out recently. I jokingly sent him a text with the screenshot and said, I finally made it to the start line. 
And what he said to that was, well, most people never even sign up for the race in the first place. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video with my $3.36 more in my bank account. It's real money, though. It's real money. Appreciate you watching. Goodbye.